Hey guys, Thunderhound369 here, and today, well, before we get started, before we get started here, new shirt, we got to think about the shirt, cool shirt, can't wait, Thundercats are back, can't wait, but, uh, no, it's not about, it's not, not about the shirt, not a haul, not a haul or anything like that, I just want to welcome everybody to my one year anniversary video that's right good old Thunderhound has been on YouTube for over a year now this, this video may be going up just a little bit late but hey at least it's going up and what we're, I'm going to be reviewing is to celebrate an anniversary I'm going to review an anniversary toy specifically the 20th Anniversary Masterpiece Optimus Prime. We'll get to him in just a moment. Before we do, I want to thank all my subscribers. I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel over the past year. It's been a really wonderful time. It's been exciting. I've really enjoyed doing all this, not only for you guys, but for myself as well, you know. It's been really nice getting to know some of you guys, meet a lot of, well, not meet a lot of people, but getting, you know, what you know what I mean. Uh, you know, guys like Zizzle Rizzle 8707, Lunacy 05, Aetherus 69, Big Trans Fan, Nitro Nate 6, Mr. Prime 259, Sports Wolf 3. Getting to know you guys a little bit and everything over this past year. It's been really, really good time. So, uh, again, this is my one year anniversary video. I want to welcome everybody to it. I hope you'll enjoy it. It may run a little long. I hope it don't. I'll try to keep it as short as possible. Uh, so, again, I want to say thanks to everybody that has supported the channel. Uh, everybody from Dumbass Reviewer all the way to Metalhead Prime 2. I mean, some of you guys have been with me since the very beginning. Some of you, you, know, you new guys, trust me, you new guys, you'll get used to me. If you stick around long enough, you'll get used to me. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at the toy, specifically Transformers 20th Anniversary Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Here he is in his truck mode, and here comes one of my cats getting on screen, Sissy. Bye, Sissy. Thanks for visiting. Come back. Bye. That was Sissy. She's crazy. But anyway, back to Optimus. Here we have him in his truck mode. Um, nice little stub nose Kenworth, Peterbilt, whatever he is. I've never really known what kind of truck he is. I think he's a Peterbilt. I'm not for sure. Um, Anyway, nice little flat nose. Nice red paint job. This guy originally came out in 2004 in the celebration to the 20th anniversary for Transformers. Picked him up at a, one of my local Walmarts back then. Um, picked him up you know, where I was working at at the time. There was a Walmart right across the street. And I picked him up on my way into work and that was the longest shift I ever worked because I was trying to get home. I wanted to get home and get this guy opened up. So you can imagine what I was like at work. But anyway, it's the uh, original release. 
You know, he is complete. I do have the energy axe and the Megatron, but they're in storage, so they're not in the video. They're going to be in storage. Uh, he was re-released, repainted, you know, brighter red, brighter blue, you know, for the uh, anniversary of the uh, 1986 Transformers animated movie. Like I said, the paint, the red was just brighter, blue brighter. Uh, same accessories released with a sound box. You know, made sound effects from the movie. Uh, voice clips from Peter Cullen. The one shall stand, one shall fall. Transformation sound effects. Music. Stuff of that nature. But I didn't see the need to go back and rebuy the same toy just for that I was I'm happy with just one as you can see got nice little details everywhere chrome smokestacks short smokestacks keep you from poking your eyes out rubber tires they roll suspension back here in the back does work nice chrome fuel tanks now this guy is pretty much most of this guy is die cast metal he is heavy he weighs quite a bit uh, quite a bit of weight to him very heavy like I said it's die cast so you're not going to feel like you're going to break this guy when you transform him I mean, you, some of you going to have to be rough with him anyway. So, we'll go ahead and start the transformation. We'll go ahead and start with the legs. The best way to do that is just get a hold of him. Push in on the fuel tanks if you can. Just get a good grip on them, push in on them, pull. And then, right here on the very back, Get a hold of this piece right here on either side. Lift those up. And this entire section you're going to rotate 180 degrees. Do that on both legs. Flip this piece. Flip these pieces in. Maybe they're supposed to just flip right in. Great. Don't mind they're not wanting to flip right in. Should have known you'd give me problems somewhere. Oh, I see what there's a little piece there that needed to be flipped out. And there's his legs. Pull those apart. Like this little silver gray pot. Put that in. There's his legs. Most of this guy transforms almost identical to the to his original self, but with just a few extra moves. What I mean by that? Get this out of the way. Come up here. Untab these. This front cab section. It's been a while since I've done this, so just bear with me. Pull the arms out. Like so. Pull this arm out. Like so. Up here like that. I'm probably going a little bit quick, but and we'll go ahead and reveal the head. We'll go ahead and pull this piece back. The head is I think he's not going to cooperate with me at all. Cab stay closed. Untab all this crap here. Put that forward. Now, in here is where it's going to get tricky real quick. 
put all this down. Put the arms up out of your way. Well, like I said, it gets kind of tricky in places through here. For me, anyway, it's been a while since I've tinkered with him. So, we'll go ahead and if we can get in here, get this little old gray box right in here. If we can get that, we may have to open this cab section up. Get this little silver box twisted to one side. His head is what's giving me trouble. His head seems to be stuck. There it is. Flip his head out. Like so. Epic head reveal. And you come in here. Now what's this piece? Flip this entire section. This entire section is supposed to go. Right up into here. Oh, Lord. What a mess. What a mess. I never really like fooling with this guy. I don't really fool with him a whole lot. He's not that complicated. He's not really fiddly. It's just if you don't fool with him every single day, you just get to where you really don't want to mess with him. And that's pretty much the way I am. I really don't want, don't like messing with him a whole lot. I just kind of like let him sit on the shelf. You'll get a mess that looks like that. Then... This entire section here rolls up so tucks into the sides like so it's supposed to tuck in. Clips in like such. Maybe. There it is. Everything just goes in like that. Close this back up. Put these sections back here to the back. Flip your fake chest piece up. Straighten out the head. Rotate the waist. Somebody out there would probably do a whole lot better job transforming this guy than I can. I probably went too fast in places. Now the hands are kind of neat. I love the way the hands come out. You just kind of flip. I may need an implement. I may need an implement. I have no fingernails. I need an implement. Scissors. Scissors. That piece out. Slide the back. Straighten his hands out. Ooh. Now, like I said, the energy axe. I did. I do have it. Now, the energy axe. You just this chest panel ain't want to shut. Now the other day I couldn't get his chest panel to open. Now I can't get it to close. Ding. Make up your mind. But anyway, the energy axe just clipped right into here. Stuck out a little ways. So we'll go ahead and bring the other hand out. Implement. Get in there. Now the, in the implement's not wanting to work. Get in there. There we go.
타라 Now he's got that alms, alms for the poor. There he is. Also, make sure everything, yeah, there he is. He's big old nasty bot mode. I want to show you guys, here's his ion rifle, ion blaster, whichever you prefer to call it. Very nice. Give you guys an idea how big this blaster is. Simple bottle of Coca Cola. The iron blaster. As you can see it's pretty much half the size of the bottle of the Coke. Then we go back over Prime again. Come on here, son. Oh yeah, open his chest plate up, flip this little piece back up again. He's got a little button to the side. I hope you guys, I hope I can get this on camera. Got this little button just off to the side of his head. Lights up. I don't know if you guys are seeing that or not. Try to put him at every angle I can so you guys can see that the matrix is removable I've left I've, I've put my implements away my pudgy little fingers just can't get into these spots anyway here's the back back I say Here's the matrix in all its little lovely glory. It does open, close, so you can see that. Very nice indeed. Got great detail to it. He can hold it quite well. Well, he can't really hold it all that well. But you can get a couple of fingers in there. I'm not going to fool with it. But now, I also want to point out that for the Rodimus Prime Masterpiece figure that a lot of people have been seeing holding the Matrix, this is the Matrix that Rodimus is holding from Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Because Rodimus's Matrix is maybe half that size. But that's the matrix that Rodimus is holding. And I can't, I'm not going to get this back in there. Come on. Eh, I'll do that, do that in a minute. But for now, we'll go over his articulation. Head is on a ball joint, so it will go full 360, up, down, side to side, all that good stuff. Got your standard Optimus Prime head sculpt. Shoulders will go 360. It's not on a ball joint, it's on a hinge swivel. You go out to there, back, they swivel back. Swivel back, but no inward. Hey! Quit! Sorry about that, guys. One of my other cats got on camera crazy. God, my. I'm not starting this review over. But anyway, it does have upper bicep, elbow joint. Speaking of elbow joint, on his hands, his, his hands are will rotate 360 at the wrist. He swivels in and out. Individual thumbs articulated, which are on ball joints, and opening and closed each and every individual little finger. As well, on the arm, he has little communicator screens. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but he does have a little communicator screen just there. And it has 
Starscream on it. I don't know why he would have Starscream on his communicator screen. On the other arm, he has one. And it has Bumblebee. Pretty standard there. Yeah! Great race time, I guess. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Way to go. Wake up the neighborhood. Dumbass. I don't know who that was. But anyway, it does have a waist joint. Nice, nice clickety clickety. Get his hand out of the way where I can get in here. Legs will come out to there. They're not so much hindered, but you can move these pads out. They will come out just a little bit farther. Forward, back, but you know, it just looks better. Just take them as far as they'll go. Upper thigh movement. Does have good knee joints. And this guy is rough and tough, let me tell you. Ankle joints, pivot, all over the place. Love this guy. <coughs> there he is. Galloway. You're not stealing my spotlight, son. Don't step in my spotlight, son. You're just stand back here out of the way. Crazy cats, would you quit? Calm down. Calm down. But anyway, there he is. Here I am. There's the cats. So guys, my opinion of Masterpiece Optimus Prime here, if you can get a hold of one, pick him up. I highly, highly, highly recommend him. I mean, even if you're not a Transformer fan, and you're just looking to add maybe a Masterpiece Transformer to your toy collection overall, this is the one to get. This is the one to track down. I don't care what they say about Rodimus. I don't care what they say about Grimlock, Starscream, Skywarp, that mold. I don't care. This is the Masterpiece to have. If you can find it, get it. You will not be disappointed. You don't feel like you're going to break it when you transform it. I mean, heck, even the leg, the legs, you pretty much have to just pull. And you feel like you're going to pull it in half, but trust me, you're not. So, again, he does hold his rifle very well. So we'll put that back. So again, I just want to point out that this is my one year anniversary video. It has been fun. It has been great. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, I do hope to get out onto a regular schedule this, this time. I do hope this year around. I do hope I can get on some kind of a regular schedule, but I don't know if I will or not. It may be the same old schedule over and over and over. Come and go, come and go because of my work schedule. So... Guys, thanks for all your support to everybody that, you know, like I said, even my all my subscribers, I think I checked the other day and I was like over 150, somewhere about 156, 157. I think the, my newest subscriber was a retarded ass reviewer, so thank you, sir, for your subscription. Uh, can't wait to see what kind of videos you come up with on your channel just in case anybody's wondering retarded at retarded ass reviewer is just basically dumbass reviewer for the backup channel so give him a little bit of a shout out he's been needing one for a while so guys I want to say thanks to every one of you, to each and every one of you for your support, no matter how major it is, no matter how minor it is. I'm just here in my little corner of the internet, my little, my little corner of the internets, being the little guy, loving it, loving it, not looking to be partner, not looking for to be internet famous, I'm just here being me. 
So, guys, I want to thank everybody for not for all your support. For not, thanks for all your support for this first year. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope it doesn't turn out very long. So, this is Thunderhound three three six nine. This has been Matt twentieth anniversary Transformers twentieth anniversary masterpiece Optimus Prime. I highly recommend picking one up. You will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. This is Thunderhound 369. I'm out of here. See y'all. Peace.